मुखर्जी हेलो दिस इज सुप्रिय मुखर्जी एंड विल बी स्टार्टिंग टुडे हाउ टू रिमेम्बर द बैलेंसीज ऑफ द एनायंस आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास एट नाइन टेंथ इवन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ मेकिंग मिस्टेक इन दिस सेक्शन दे आर नॉट एबल टू रिकलेक्ट वॉट वॉज द वैलेंसी ऑफ दिस एनायन ऑफ दैट एनायन सपोज नाइट्रेट और फॉस्फेट फॉस्फाइट एसेट्रा एसेट्रा सो i divided the anions into some groups which will help them to remember them correctly by following such some methods so we have considered a pool of anions over here which is mostly found in most of the reactions in chemistry in icsc cbsc and the state boards so let us start and jump into the subject directly so if here we see what are the anions we are talking about nitrate nitrite chloride chlorate hypochlorite chlorite phosphate phosphite etc so our first group over here is n n means as we everybody know it is nitrogen any anion associated with nitrogen even cations also it will have a valency of 1 right here if we just see this one any anion nitrate nitrite and nh4 plus that is ammonium ion all these are having a nitrogen associated with it and are having the valency of 1 now this is cl chlorine any anion with a chlorine associated will have a valency of again 1 so this again this part wherever there is chlorine it will have a valency of 1 okay so wherever we will see chlorine we can we can blindly say it will have a valency of 1 we can blindly say same is not the case with this one so i encircled it uh, previously also this is not the case any anion associated with nitrogen may not have valency of 1 but most of them will have so there there is one exception with this nitrogen so we'll see that later about the exceptions so at this moment we'll remember that any anion associated with nitrogen or chlorine will have valency of 1 now coming back coming to phosphorus there are two anions basically that we use which are associated with phosphorus one is phosphate this one po4 another is po3 both of these have valency of 3 so any anion associated with phosphate or phosphite po3 3 minus will have a valency of 3 our next group is sulfur group any anion associated with sulfur will have a valency of 2 so you can blindly Uh, follow in case of sulfur having a valency of two. Now there is another group that we have classified over here that is H. Any anion having a hydrogen associated with it, what will it be? So first of all, if you see this group within this, if you just identify these groups, sorry. you just identify this group what are these groups these are bi bi groups we call it bi groups either it is bicarbonate bisulfate or bisulfite so all these group is having a hydrogen associated with it whenever there is bicarbonate bisulfite or bisulfate you can blindly again follow our rule it will have one other than that 
OH minus have an hydrogen associated with it, it will have a valency of 1. H plus, it is already a hydrogen, it will have a valency of 1. So all the anions associated with hydrogen will have a valency of 1. Now, see over here, sulfite and sulfate. Both of them are having valency of 2. This one and this one. Both of them are having a valency of 2. But on the other hand, bisulfate and bisulfite having a valency of 1. So, our main intention is to remember. How can we remember and apply in reactions easily? And sometimes it is also asked given some anions and cations, it is asked what will be the formula of the compound. In that case also, if you can remember all these things by this simplistic method, you can easily do it. So, first is N group, it will have 1. Cl group, it will have 1. Then P group, it will have 3. S group, it will have 2. And H group, it will have 1. There is another group which we call halogen group. If you have already studied the periodic table, you will know this group. Chlorine, remember, chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine. This will always have an valency of 1. Any group associated with chromium will have valency of 2. Nitrogen, as we earlier have seen over here, nitrogen has any group associated with nitrogen will have valency of 1. But in case of nitrogen itself, it has a valency of 3, nitride ion. Carbon has a valency of 4. You can just write the uh, electronic configuration of carbon, which is 2, 4. So it has 4 um, electrons. It needs another 4 electron to complete its octet. So it will have a valency of 4. So these, these things are very easy. Same is the case with nitrogen. So though nitrate, nitrite and ammonium will have a valency of 1, but simply nitrogen, if it is nitride group, it will have a valency of 3. So you can remember that easily. There are some other exceptions like aluminate and manganate. These things you have to just remember as an exception. Just try to remember this thing. Until now, we are in a system. If you see these groups, these are in a system. But now, these two or three things, if you remember, like aluminate and permanganate, very important. Permanganate is very important. It will be used in many of the reactions as a reagent potassium permanganate so it will have an valency of 1 so the, this thing these two things you just remember aluminate and permanganate will have a valency of 1 similarly silicate zincate plumbate will have a valency of 2 you have to remember this this is after following the rules there are certain thing that we have to remember These three having a valency of 2. So, is there anything else that we have missed out? Yes, we have two or three things still left which you have missed out, and those are important. Number one, carbonate, it will have a valency of 2. So, carbonate is a very simple anion, everyone remembers. Yes, you know sodium carbonate, it is Na2CO3, so obviously CO3 will have a valency of 2. That is easy. Other than that, there is another and that is O2 2 minus. What is this anion? This anion is can you identify? Yeah, correct. This is peroxide anion. So this peroxide anion will have 2 as valency. So, where do we can find this? We can find this in this. Thank you guys. This will be all.